SpaceX's Starship rocket is by all means unconventional. The belly flop maneuver, the landing burn, and the design of the rocket itself is something that has never been tried before. And like any other novel technology, Starship 2 is facing several hurdles. One of them being the landing legs of the rocket. Currently, the dry mass of Starship is about 200 metric tons, and the goal is to reduce it to about 120 metric tons. So, designing landing legs that are lightweight and at the same time can withstand the momentum of a landing starship is quite a challenge, to say the least. Elon Musk has already made clear that SpaceX is serious about catching the super heavy booster. And recently, he also gave hints about the possibility of doing the same with the starship as well. A recent study conducted by FAA has given SpaceX a green signal for the 146 meter launch tower that they are currently constructing. The report noted that the tower will consist of a mechanical arm capable of lifting the rocket. This clearly means that it is also capable of catching the super heavy booster and naturally even the starship. Catching orbital class rockets is not a completely new idea. Rocket Lab is planning to catch the first stage of their electron rocket using parachutes and a helicopter. And in the past, NASA also briefly considered catching the first stage of Saturn V using helicopter with rotor blades as long as 10 meters. In comparison to this, SpaceX's plan also sound quite possible. So, in this video, we'll take a look into the advantages and disadvantages of actually catching the starship. Before getting into the video though, if you're new here, do consider subscribing the channel to learn more interesting stuff about rockets and the future of space exploration. Now, let's get started. We will first start with the good part, the advantages. The obvious advantage of not using the landing legs is the increased payload capacity to the low Earth orbit. In rocketry, mass is a very important factor. Every kilogram of mass saved directly translates into the increased payload capacity. As the dry mass of Starship is already very high, any possibility of reduction in mass should be seriously considered. Elon Musk has already conveyed his concerns about the usable payload to orbit that Starship can actually carry. As Starship is currently in development, the first generation of orbital Starships most probably won't be capable of carrying the proposed 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. So if in case there is only a little room for mass reduction, then getting rid of the landing legs altogether can be a good option for SpaceX. The most important advantage of catching Starship will be the very low turnaround time for the next launch. For Falcon 9 boosters, even the fastest turnaround time has been 27 days. Once a Falcon 9 lands on a drone ship, it is transported to the refurbishment hangar. This is where the booster undergoes inspection and some of its instruments are also replaced here. In all of this inspection, the part which takes up most of the time and energy are the landing legs. With SpaceX trying to achieve rapid reusability with Starship, where they plan to relaunch the rocket within just a few hours, then just like Falcon 9 booster, here too the landing legs can potentially lead to delays. If both Super Heavy booster and Starship are caught by the same launch tower, then the turnaround time for the next launch can dramatically reduce. Now similar to every other system, there are also some disadvantages of this landing system. The first and the obvious one is that there won't be such launch towers to catch Starship on the Moon and the Mars. The reason why Starship exists is because of the goal of making life multiplanetary, taking humans to Moon and Mars. Even though Starship will be doing some commercial low Earth orbit launches, its primary goal will always be enabling a base on Moon and Mars. So for the short term, SpaceX can dodge the landing leg problem, but at some point in the future, they will face it again. Now, some might argue that due to the lower gravity on Moon and Mars, the landing legs problem won't be a very big deal. But if the landing legs can perform optimally in Earth's gravity, then we can surely assume that they will also work in the lower gravity bodies like the Moon and Mars. Another disadvantage of catching Starship will be the difficulties in human rating the whole system. You see the current landing maneuver for Starship is already quite unconventional and there are some concern about its safety. And on top of this, if SpaceX will catch the Starship, the probability of failure might grow even further. In addition to this, we don't know which part will be used for catching the Starship. For example, the Super Heavy Booster will have the grid fins which are strong enough to withstand its weight. However, there doesn't seem to be such a part for Starship as of now. With Starship's primary mission to enable human missions to the Moon and Mars, making sure it's safe for human will be an integral part of the system. And getting rid of the landing legs altogether doesn't seem to solve the problem. Another big disadvantage of catching Starship is the complexity of the system. When SpaceX proposed to land the Falcon 9 booster in 2013, they had expected to successfully recover a booster by mid-2014. 
However, as we know, the first successful landing occurred in December 2015. The propulsive landing mechanism for Falcon 9 was quite new at that time and there were a lot of new problems that SpaceX faced when they started testing it in the real world. Similarly, catching the Starship can lead to some unforeseen problems and cause extended delays in the development of Starship. So as you can clearly see, the disadvantages far outweigh the advantages of catching Starship. And based on some recent renders released by SpaceX, it also seems that catching the Starship will most likely never happen. As NASA expects Starship to be ready for humans by 2024, it is likely that SpaceX will increase the rate of testing Starships even more with some occasional rapid and scheduled disassemblies. As SpaceX try to launch Starship to orbit, we'll be seeing them catching the Super Heavy booster and hopefully land the Starship in a single piece. That's all for this video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.